there are steps you can take in order to be happy. Here's an article I wrote on my blog re recently called Happiness is Knowing of What You Are Made. And what I'm going to do is read through it, present it to you. This is something you can put into action if you want to be happy and you feel you're not there yet. Here's a question. Do you move through life feeling every day is the same, like some repeated pattern that goes on and on? Everything's just boring, boring, boring. You work so hard to earn enough money to play, but yet your playtime passes so fast. Suffer five days, enjoy two days. Hmm? For life to have zest, everyone needs that feeling of drive, anticipation and excitement. When you don't know how to get it naturally, you feel you have to resort to artificial means to stimulate that sense of being fully alive. Desperately trying to bring some meaning into life. But you see, happiness is within you. If you can't satisfy your wants, then the other way to happiness is to release them. Let go of that which you feel you just must have. You can make yourself suffer because you crave what you do not have. And let me ask you this. Is this yearning self-created or something imposed on you by the outside world? Perhaps it's the outside world's fault because... Other people keep flaunting their luxuries and exotic experiences. But surely we create this yearning within ourselves. So it's within our power to control it or to release it altogether. Now, Lord Richard Layard, professor of the London School of Economics, a, a leading happiness researcher, says happiness is a balance between your expectations and your attainments. One way is to get what you want. The other is liking what you get. Many of our desires are, are misplaced. We think getting them will bring happiness, but that's an illusion. These misplaced desires are, are nothing more than temporary pleasures. You don't need to satisfy your desires to be happy. You need only to release them. The people who feel good every day without resorting to vices have one mental characteristic in common. They have a dream and they know what they want to achieve in life. This sense of purpose drives them and gives meaning to their existence. They have discovered their soul's calling and uh, a living life to the fullest by following it. This is different from those who are you know, party animals, living life to the fullest by drowning in deafening music and shaking till the sun rises. That's not living. That's dying. If you want to find true meaning and happiness in life, then you've, you've got to uncover your life's purpose. For each of us has a unique destiny, a path made specially for you to walk on this journey through life. Follow it and you'll arrive in paradise. Ignore it and you continue to wonder, wasting time and wasting life itself. Here's some points. One. You need to know what you're made of, your talents, your strengths, your abilities. In the Bible, it says, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. God's made us all in different ways. Find out what your gifts are. And when you find out, use them, use them. Second, craft a vision for yourself. Visualize that dream in your mind. What is it that you feel called to do? Something purposeful something that could be an aim in your life. What is it? Visualize that dream in your mind. Three, work out then a plan that sets your goals and decides what actions you must take to achieve them. You, you need a step-by-step, -step, a plan to move forward. What's a simple step you can make that would take you nearer towards the aim that we've identified or that you've identified there? Four, tell people. Tell your, your closest friends about it, people you can trust. Tell them and commit yourself to taking five of these planned little steps, these planned actions every day to build your dream. Just little steps you can take. Share them with your friends and commit. Commit with them uh, taking some sort of uh, oversight over you because just because you're telling them about them. Commit with accountability to doing these things, to taking these steps 
towards your life's aim that you've identified. And when you see that your actions are creating results, it's going to be a natural source of excitement and inspiration. Instead of spending time and energy and money on vices, you invest it in creating an upward spiral of success. You invest in your life's aim and these steps towards it. By releasing, letting go of your desire for temporary pleasures, you kick your bad habit out the door. By choosing to live your purpose and answer your answer your soul's calling, you break free from the chains of monotony and find truth, meaning and happiness in life. The Bible says, Proverbs 23, verse 18, Surely there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Choose happiness, find your purpose, and take steps towards it, and you will be happy.